All right, we're here with uh, Omaha North. Can I call you legendary Omaha North head coach, Larry Martin, state championship coach? Uh, coach, first of all, appreciate you coming out, uh, taking some time. Uh, you got a, a lot of young, promising players in your program again. I know last year wasn't the kind of year you guys wanted. Um, you had some good moments, but you've got a lot now to build on here in 2023. Yeah, no doubt, Sean. Uh, we appreciate everything that you do and you and Greg do for the high school athletes here in the state of Nebraska. And, and um, you know, uh, we did. We, you know, at any given time, we had nine returning starters on both sides of the ball coming back this year. Um, we felt good. We went out to Grand Island, uh, competed very hard with them, and, and they ended up being a semifinal team. Um, and we felt very confident that we were in that, that mix. So uh, just uh, extremely excited about next year. Uh, certainly we'll miss our seniors, but we had uh, great young talent in our program. And then, you know, starting up front, I mean, at the line of scrimmage, it's where you win games, and you've got maybe the best guy in the state right now in Tyson Terry. Uh, we know what he's accomplished as a wrestler, but um, what he's done for you on the on the football field is equally, if not more impressive. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, Tyson, uh, you know, he's just going to be a junior. Um, he's extremely talented, uh, but the, some of the characteristics that stand out to me, Sean, is that he's, he's just driven. I mean, he works hard in the classroom, works hard in the weight room. He, uh, he just wants to become the best uh, student athlete that he can become and uh, uh, his demeanor doesn't change. I mean, he just every week he's a grinder and he works extremely hard and we're very fortunate to have him in our program. Where do you think you made the biggest jump when you look at kind of your sophomore year and, and, and where you're at going into your junior year? Um, I think uh, just that I was kind of that freshman year I was used to, you know, the speed it was different than from eighth grade. So I think that speed and uh, the physicality I was kind of used to. And so I think that helped a lot is just freshman playing varsity all 12 games that we played um, that was definitely a big jump but you know just um, the, the speed you know I was kind of used to it and you're a wrestler so you've kind of had to keep your body in check you, yep. you play right now you're 265 but you yep. you can play all the way I mean what's the highest weight you've played at um, so uh, I was creeping up in the mid 280s during the last few games of football and so um, I, I, I felt I felt good there um, kind of I felt good, but after wrestling started, I kind of just just working out every day and lost lost that weight. Did you have? I mean, obviously Nebraska offered a long time ago. Iowa, Iowa State. You go down the list. K State, uh, Colorado recently offered. But did you have any newer teams kind of really engage this this off season with him? Yeah, we've uh, he's had a lot of interest. You know, um, you know, uh, Oklahoma was in to see him. Uh, Notre Dame requested his transcripts. Uh, UCLA has been checking him out, you know, in terms of his transcripts as well. So generated a lot of interest here. Uh, no surprise, very well deserving, very well deserving. Now, last time we talked, K-State, Iowa State, Nebraska, those were the three that you really were focusing on. Has anything changed um, in your process? I know Colorado's offered, Oklahoma's visited and looked at you. Yep. I mean, kind of where are things at with you? Now? Um, yeah, so uh, Colorado's kind of a surprise. Uh, I've never, never talked to um, – them so that was a bit of a surprise but I think kind of those those three are kind of still up there those three yeah yep. are you gonna now March is when you can go back and visit schools like what's yep. March April look like for you right now um so as of now I did plan to visit those three and then maybe um a few more and you just catch a spring practice or a, a junior day at a you know, Iowa or maybe um just another another and then I want to talk to you about your quarterback Sebastian um obviously um you know, he took on the starting role for you as a sophomore, but he was getting a lot of attention for what he's accomplished more in these seven-on-seven -seven events, and it's led to a lot of offers um, in the offseason. I mean, what are you hearing on him and, and just kind of from the attention standpoint? The Miami offer, I know, mm -hmm. got a ton of attention yeah. uh, two weeks ago. Well, it just shows his commitment from his family level of, uh, you know, wanting to become the best that he can become. Uh, they've just worked extremely hard. Um, it's uh, no surprise to me. I mean, I've known the young man since he's uh, sixth, seventh grade. He just wants to spin the football and throw the football and, and become the best football player that he can become. So uh, his commitment level is, is uh, extremely high and, and uh, just wants to, you know, continue to improve and, and work, work hard. Seven on seven, that's really where your reputation is nationally. Everyone kind yeah. of knows who you are on that, on that circuit. Yeah. Um, just speak to, like, the commitment you've made to that and some of the different teams you play with because you play with some of the top seven on seven yeah. teams in the country oh uh, yeah i play with the bootleggers from louisiana a bunch of four star and five stars i just think playing with those athletes elevates my game to that level and just like your confidence i'm yeah. sure i mean and I, I saw you play with malachi coleman at the yeah. nebraska camp i mean he's a big target just if you get in his vicinity he'll catch it 
yeah, how fun is it just to play with that type of talent and how much has it made you better? Uh, it's, I have a blast. Like you just make friendships, they're all cool guys and it just makes me so much better throwing at those athletes and especially against those defensive athletes that are four or five stars. And you've gotten some pretty big offers just from what you've done in seven on seven, Penn State, Ole Miss, yeah. and then most recently Miami. Yeah. Um, just kind of give us an idea of who's recruiting, recruiting you right now and kind of the offers you have. Uh, so I have Miami, Syracuse, Penn State, Boston College, Temple, and yeah, I said Penn State. And uh, they, I'm going to go back down to Miami March 4th, and I'm going to try and get to Syracuse and Penn State sometime in the spring. Did that my getting that Miami offer? That seemed like a pretty big deal. I mean, mm -hmm. just. Uh, what did the Miami coach Cristobal say he liked about you and kind of where you're at on the board for them for 2025? So I just we were I just went into his office, had a meeting with him. He was just like t talking about his success at Oregon, how they went from four and eight to winning the Rose Bowl, and he just said he really liked my tape and wanted me to get back down there. And I, they really liked me.